How to install and set up the SharePoint Connector app for Business Central. Hey, I'm Eric, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get going with the with the SharePoint Connector app. There are links below to everything I do, so you can follow along and try it yourself in the sandbox. And um, I actually already started in the sandbox, so I went to the Marketplace page and I found the SharePoint Connector, and I click Free Trial. It installed. It takes a couple of minutes, um, and that's just done. So uh, the next thing I need to do is I need to go to the SharePoint setup page. And um, this one asks questions. Uh, so there are fields to be filled out. You, uh, as long as you're in the a, in a, in a sandbox, you can just go ahead and, and use the app. Uh, so we need to figure out where on SharePoint we want our documents. So uh, I'll go to my SharePoint called Hogard.SharePoint. And I have created a place for this. So I created a subsite on SharePoint. Um, and in that subsite, there is documents. This is where I want my things. So the easiest way to go about this is actually to deconstruct a URL. So the first thing I'll grab is the base uh, URL. So hogart.sharepoint.com with HTTPS in front. I put that into the base URL field. The next field is called, is called subsite name. Subsite name is in this case, demo, but if we look up here, it actually says sites slash demo. Uh, so subsites can be both sharepoint.com slash the name or sharepoint.com slash sites slash the name. Uh, so you have to tell that this is a the one with the sites. Then I need to determine how I connect to Business Central, uh, sorry, to SharePoint. And I I think I can do that with a service account so everybody is using the same account uh, to watch SharePoint, or I can do it with each individual user's account. Uh, I will go for personal. Um, the last thing I need to do is under folders and integration, folders and integration, there's a document library field here. Uh, and this one already is already filled out with shared space documents. And if we go look back and say this one that was called documents is actually not from a technical perspective called document, it's called shared and then space documents. So what was correct, what was already entered here was what we need. Um, so with that out of the way, I hit connect. And now come this kind of quirky login process. So you need to copy the code, you need to click on the link, then you paste the code, and you're signing into SharePoint Connector, and I'm signing in as myself. Yes, I am signing in. Uh, and now I am signed, signed in, so I can close this tab again. And we can see that on uh, on Business Central, it now has recognized that we are connected, but it also tells us that we don't have any tables mapped. So with the SharePoint Connector app, you don't, that it's, the part of Business Central that is connected to uh, to SharePoint is up to you. Uh, but to get going, we give you a an, some standard mapping so you can default, you can use. So I'll, I'll gra grab that and we can see here that now I have 12 tables mapped. Uh, if I click table mapping, I can see that I have all sorts of things mapped here. Um, so with that, I can go to my customer list, I can open a customer, and we can see now that there is a SharePoint box. I'll just get rid of the tour. The SharePoint box will show up if you map the table. Um, and um, I'll grab a file here from another screen. So I'll just drop the file straight on the box. It's uploaded and we see that now there's a baby elephant here. Uh, if I click on it, I see the file, there's an elephant. Um, if I go to click on SharePoint and here it says browse on SharePoint, it will take me to that place. So we can now see that I am in, in the demo site. I'm on customer on, on documents and there's a folder called customers and there's a folder for my customer. I just added the elephant to, um, if I go and grab another customer here and we add a koala to that one. We can go back and, and say, browse on SharePoint again. 
and seeing that that is now in a folder for that customer. Uh, and if I go out to customers, we can see that now there are two customer folders uh, created. Um, if you want to see how the whole uh, SharePoint table mapping process is working, there's another video for that. There's a link below uh, and there's a playlist and you can go check out on uh, on how you can configure all the mappings you want. But that's five minutes on uh, get your SharePoint uh, connected to your Business Central or Business Central connected to your SharePoint. It's the same thing. And uh, links below uh, if you want to try this, this yourself. And good luck and have fun with SharePoint.